maintaining crop diversity, preserving our heritage, and investing in research is essential for sustainable agriculture. My name is Sanja Mikic. I'm a researcher at the Institute of Field and Vegetable Crops in Novi Sad, Serbia, where I maintain and study a large collection of small grain cereals. A farmer approached us and asked us to research and multiply a certain variety of wheat that he stumbled upon and claimed it provided him with a good yield with little input. We studied the sample and found out it was banatka, the variety that used to be grown in the northeast parts of the country and it is very suitable for low input agriculture. The only downside of banatka was that it has a very long stem, making it prone to collapsing due to rain and wind and ultimately difficult to harvest. Unfortunately, many of those traditional varieties disappeared from farmers' fields decades ago and were replaced by modern ones. Since new varieties produce larger yields when supported with synthetic fertilizers, pesticides and other inputs, Farmers abandoned old varieties to make more profit. The old varieties have a superior nutritional value, are more resilient to climate change, diseases and other shocks than modern varieties. It is important to keep all these diverse genetic resources and use them to develop new varieties that can tackle the challenges of climate change that we are facing now and will surely face in the future. Our plan is to use banatka for breeding and try to get a new variety with shorter and stronger stem that would not collapse while preserving all the benefits it already has. This would provide farmers with a very resilient crop while getting a profitable yield and securing their livelihoods. Personally, it is very exciting and motivating seeing all these diverse crops coming back to our fields. <laughs>